I'm going to show you not one, not two, but three different ways to master screen replacement in After Effects. Whatever problem your client caused, we got the solution. Stick around later on and I'll show you some techniques that will truly sell your composite. In this clip, we have a green screen on a monitor, but there are no tracking marks. Let's tackle it. So I'm in After Effects and I'm going to go into my tracker panel and I'm going to click track motion and enable perspective corner pin. And I'm just going to select the corners of my screen where the green meets the monitor. So I'll track forward. And once we have a good track, we'll add a solid to our comp. And in our tracking panel, we'll edit target to that solid, apply the tracking data to the solid, then pre-comp the solid. In my pre-comp of that solid, I'll drag my video assets into it. Back in my main comp, it'll show up on my screen fully tracked and I'll drag my superimpose layer under my main layer now. On our source top layer, we'll use the key light effect to key the screen, which will reveal our bottom layer. And adjust my parameters a little bit, and we're good to go. Imagine a client hands you a clip and wants a screen replaced, even without a green overlay on the screen. What do you do? I'll start with my clips in my timeline. I'll right click on my main source clip and select track and stabilize, track camera, and I'll speed this up. When it's done, I'll select a spot right on my screen and I'll click on create solid and camera. I'll scale the solid up and I'll tweak my perspective a bit using my orientation parameters and scale up some more. Now I'm gonna hide my solid but with my solid still selected, I'll use my mask tool to mask the size of the screen. I'm going to put my solid back on, and now you can see I have the perfect reference for my screen with the tracking data on it. Now I'll bring my video layer to superimpose up front, make it a 3D layer, scale it, and position it right. And now I'll use the track mat pick whip to connect it to my solid layer and make it a track mat. And I'll use my corner pin effect to match up my corners precisely. And there we have it. Sometimes the client provides a green screen with a tracker, but it doesn't cover the entire screen or there are other issues like green elements in the scene. How do we handle this? Let's go. So, our source clip here, I want to superimpose this clip of a virtual meeting on screen. So, I'll start with my clip selected, and I'll go to Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha. In my effect controls, I'll hit the Mocha icon, and Mocha will pop up. So there are markers here you could see, but I'd rather use the corners of the screen for this one, as Mocha is very accurate. I'm going to grab the X-Spline tool, and select each corner. Now I'm gonna click on show surface and I'm gonna line up this blue square with the corners of the screen. And under track motion options, I'll enable perspective. And I'll click on track forward and fast forward this for you. I'll save it in Mocha and jump back to After Effects. In my effect controls under the matte options, I'll click on create AE masks. This will mask out the screen, but if I jump to my mask controls, I can subtract it, which leaves me with a nice alpha channel. Now I'll drag my virtual meeting clip onto my composition and I'll pre-comp it. Hide it for now. And I'll jump back to my Mocha controls and in the tracking data, I'll click on create track data. Hit okay. And layer export two, I'll change that to my meeting clip layer one and hit apply export. Now I could reveal my top layer and you could see it's right in place, tracked perfectly I could scale it and reposition to get rid of the alpha channel underneath, and voila. You're probably wondering what I did to the screen to make it more screenish. First I could start by adding the noise effect to my superimposed layer. And even using the match grain effect by selecting a region of my source footage. Next, I'll add a camera lens blur and try to match the depth of field of where the monitor is in the scene. Now I'm going to jump to my pre-comp of my meeting and I'll create a screen effect by creating a new solid, giving it a blue tint, 
and adding the effect Venetian blinds to the solid. Although this is a transition, technically, I'm gonna use it as an effect. So in effect controls, I'm gonna change the transition completion to about 80% and keep the direction at zero degrees. Now I'll duplicate this effect and I'll change the direction to 90 degrees and it creates a pixel kind of crystal effect which kind of emulates a screen. Now I can play around the blending modes for this solid. I think add looks the best. And I'll add a little Gaussian blur to it all. And voila, three problems solved. Thanks for watching.